Hello, this is a quick introduction to our Q2 Portable O2 CO2 Analyzer, which is typically used for testing food packages, uh, such as dairy products, produce, snack foods, or a various number of other applications, including scientific applications, uh, IVF incubators, uh, cell culture incubators, um, items like that. Uh, let's take a quick look at the instrument itself. Uh, the instrument comes in a hard carry case and features uh, all of the international plugs that you might need depending on your power system, a charger, a set of consumable items, and those are separated out over here so you can see the foam septa, needles and filters. Filters are very important, they will block liquid and particulates from entering the package. Uh, so let's test a package. Okay, so we're going to power the instrument up. And we're now going to proceed to package or to test a package of shredded cheese, which we would expect to have a low oxygen level and a high CO2 level. So we're going to place a foam septa on the package, remove the needle protector, place the needle in the septa that gives us a nice good seal, and then press the pump button. Now this will take approximately 30 to 35 seconds to obtain a good reading. Uh, your package should have uh, at least uh, 25 cc's of headspace. And the CO2 is uh, settling in. The oxygen is about 0.3%, so they did a great job of removing the oxygen from this package. And the CO2 level is about 38. Yeah, a little higher. And now we're gonna test a package of ground coffee, which we would expect to be low in oxygen. Uh, the CO2 can vary somewhat with coffee packages, but let's see what this one comes out to. Now this is ground coffee. It does have an off-gassing valve. I'm not sure if it has an oxygen scavenger in the package or not. Um, but typically with coffee you'll see higher CO2 and again low oxygen. And as you can see the CO2 takes a little bit longer to get a reading. It will stabilize. So about 0.3 and about 40.4. And let's try one more. Uh, it's the same brand name, but it's a different uh, shredded cheese product. We're gonna try this one. Now this can be used for any package where you have at least 25 cc's of headspace volume. Um, for flexible packages it's very easy, it's just as I demonstrated. Uh, for rigid packages or containers uh, we have a couple different methods uh, by which you can uh, conduct your sampling. Uh, certainly for a flexible package um, the headspace is not as big of a consideration because the package collapses when uh, you do the testing. So let's make sure we can see those numbers. And we ended up at about 0.7 and I'll let the reading stabilize this time, 44.7.